don't know how I feel about this, guys. I'll just take this to the bedroom for now. Drop it. Oh. Okie doke, guys. They were playing a game called The Director's Disorder. It's good done. Oh, night one. Hello? It's loading. It was nice of Nana to let me stay at her place for a few days. So I can have some time alone to think. I just need to wait for things to cool down. So I can go home again. Well, what's going on? Alright, we're in the cabin. Letter from Grandma. <laughs> How could I ever forget? That was the summer Mom was traveling for work, so I had to stay here. Key should be in the shed then. I hope you had a safe drive from California, honey. You remember where you broke your wrist while you stayed with all those bleh, stayed with us bleh, bleh, stayed with us all those years ago. I left the key there. P.S. Thanks for watching Ace for me. Love you. Spider. Ew. In the shed. I gotta go. The shed. Go inside the house. Get the spare key. Get the spare house key from the shed. You can't put it like under the mat. Where the heck is the shed? Okay, I can like run. Oh, okay, that scared me a little bit. So I thought the shed would be back here, but I guess not. Okay, I was just making sure that boulder wasn't the shed. What kind of shed is not near the house? Oh, over here. I need to turn my sound down. House key? Who does this? Like, what? It's either you walk or you sprint. And I'm sprinting. Hey, hey, Ace. hey buddy. The oh, real reason. Boy, is it good to see you? I should probably look for that chore list she mentioned. It should be on the table, I think. Is that me blinking? Why is it going black? Let's close this door. Cole? What's my name? Okay, well, let's it on the side. Shut up. Feed Ace. Yes, you want some food. Ace is content. This is why I, pl I wanted to play this game. Because this hopper I don't know why I said that. This doggo. Where's your bowl? Why is there a ghost bowl right there? Oh. Can I pick it up? Oh, dog food. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. It's a little weird. Oh, let's not spill it. This is literally a... <laughs> Look at this. It's like a p pitcher. It's like when you buy a pan and then, like, it's a fake pitcher of food on it. That's what it looks like. Come on. <gasps> Need to check on Mom's memorial behind the house. Candles might need to be relit. Uh, but you gotta do that right now. Is this Granny? Kind of weird to have a picture of herself there, but all right. I'm not gonna judge. I don't want to go back out here, but okay. Uh, I guess it's this right here. I miss you every day, Mom. Bring some firewood inside. I'm gonna 
eating some by some wolves. Or the firewood. From the shed, of course. Bring some firewood from the shed. Mm. Let's go back to the shed. It's like I don't want to sprint and I don't want to walk like a slow grampy either. What choice do I have? Oh, the woods right here. Oh. What is that? Oh, that was from my car, right? A little scary. Oh, there's a note. Let's put this up first. A smiley face. Let's run back in here. I don't like this music. Hang the keys. Eat Nana's food. And go to bed. Okay, I don't know why I thought that was something else. <laughs> ah, this cooking can't be beat. What's the store? Yes, I can. Let's go to bed, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Y'all saw that by the window? I literally blinked. If you would have blinked, you would have missed it, because I almost missed it. Ace? I don't know why I'm... Oh. Where's my lighter? Okay, well I'm trying to get past you, Ace. Knife. Oh shit, I've got a bad feeling about this. Pick up the knife and place it inside. How about let's keep it up? Next to us, like, let's keep the knife on us. Shit, the duffel bag. I can't leave that out in the rain. What duffel bag? My car? What are we talking about? Bring duffel bag in the room. Where's this duffel bag at? Candle? Can't leave it out in the rain. Where is it? In the shed? Where else would a duffel bag be? It's a little weird. I mean, where else still should I look? I don't know what I'm doing. It's not in the car. Didn't I leave it here? Weird. Guess I'll check the shed next. Lovely. That was just there. So I guess it doesn't appear. Unless... Why would you... Interesting. I don't know about... I don't know how I feel about this guy's... I'll just take this to the bedroom for now. Drop it! Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. I was gonna drop it, because he said drop it. 
close the dang door. I need to turn my volume down because I'm scared. Get it. I was trying to get down anyway. I was about to close this game out. Because it's scary. I don't want to play this anymore. I should take a nice long hot bath before the rain is the death of me. to my lighter. Oh, okay, I can turn them on. So where the heck is my lighter at? Now I'm scared to put my headphone completely on. Let's take a bath. I'm trying to turn the, the water on. I thought I would say use or something. Ace! Fuck! Must have left the door. Find Ace outside. You're full. the door open when there's creepy stuff happening. Little shit. Got me worried. Don't go running off like that. Come on, buddy. I'm running. Let's get to bed. Time am I waking up? Why is it so dark? What happened to the flashlight? Why do you keep leaving Ace? A uh, package. There's a package on the table. Wind's picking up. I should move Nana's wash bins to the shed. Why is everything in the frickin' shed? I don't want to go out here. Why is it glowing over there? I don't want to run because then it makes me more panty. <laughs> Gosh, I'm a fool. I'm supposed to move him to the shed and I just freaking ran to the shed. Please, I don't have anything. I'm also over the wash bins. What? Oh, that other candle's missing. I don't have to do this. Why is it so dark? 
What the heck am I doing? Wash bin in, so you just wash and bins. Oh, there was. Do you want to take one at a time? Where's that one? Oh, I guess we're flying. There we go. Yeah, do 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 I'm getting this. What's gonna happen now? Hello? Package. Why did I have to do, do all this before? Huh. Was this open before? Oh my god. Space bar to continue. Do I want to continue? Not really. Hello? Anyone there? Hello, Cole. How was the drive here? I hope it wasn't too uncomfortable for you. It has been a few years since you visited your old family home, hasn't it? This voice is kind of weird. This? The director of your next film, Cole. I've got a role for you to fill. And I know you're hankering for some work. I'm not desperate enough to work with someone pulling some shady shit like this. If you want to work together, drop the Psycho Stalker Act and contact my agent. Goodbye. I wouldn't be so fast to turn me down, Cole. Hear me out at least. So... <laughs> no. Now leave me the hell alone, or I'm gonna call the police. I mean, I would have already called the police. Uh, I don't want to hear anything. Mace? Oh, I have my light again. Oh. So I always have it. Wait, where's my keys? What the fuck? Didn't I put them in the <laughs> holder? <laughs> Knife. I don't want to go out here. Ace! 
What the hell did you do with my dog? Now, now, don't get saucy. Little Ace isn't dead yet. Where is he? I've got him right here with me. And if you want to see him again, you'll play along. Now, I was generous enough to do this out of the kindness of my heart. But it looks like you need some extra motivation. Follow my instructions, and you'll get Widow Ace back. <sighs> what do you need me to do? That's more like it, Cole. You're going to help me gather footage for a film. Something that'll really blow the socks off our viewers. How about we start off with something simple to ease into it, huh? For this scene, I'd like for you to go behind your house and pick up the present I left for you. With it, you're going to vandalize your mother's favorite tree. I know the relationship with your mother wasn't the greatest while she was alive, so why not take this chance to blow off some steam and show off your true feelings? Fine. Just don't hurt Ace, please. Obviously, don't try to contact the police. You wouldn't want to see me upset, would you? Now, let's get to work, shall we? Okay, I guess we're getting this and this. Oh, we're doing it on this? This is kind of... I want my dog today. We're vandalizing the tree. I'm so sorry, Mom. She knows you're doing it for doggy. Now what? Oh, the trash bag was just to. Oh, I guess they're the trash. Now what? Done. Now give me back my dog. Whoa, whoa, don't be so hasty. I haven't gathered nearly enough footage for the film yet. We still have work to do. That wasn't the deal. Now where's Ace? Quiet! If you don't <laughs> shut up and do it for the dog will die <laughs> so and you will join it soon after. <sighs> What's next? That's the spirit. Now, I want you to grab that duffel bag you brought home with you. I know what's in the duffel bag, Cole. All that money you stole from your charity. And you thought to bring oh, it here with you? Not smart, Cole. Not smart at all. What the hell was I supposed to do with it? It's not like I could take it to the bank. Cole, listen, I'm not here to question your life choices. That's for your fans and the police. What you're going to do is get rid of the evidence. Burn every last dollar in that bag. I mean, I'm not attached to that money. We're burning the money. Burning the money. All that work down the fucking drain. I mean, is it all that work if you stole? I burned it all. I don't know how this is going to help me, though. It won't, Nimrod. But it does make for good footage. You'll be viewed as this compassionate, regretful man seeking to make amends for his past crimes. Probably. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not people. I'm not better not end up with me in a prison cell. All right, Cole. Next scene. Do you remember when you were filming your last movie? Your stunt double had an accident on set because you were too hungover to act. Now, I would have liked to have had you recreate that accident, but we don't have time or resources for it. So instead, I'm going to have you take a knife and cut off your own finger. Simple enough, right? What the heck? What? No! That accident was his fault, not mine! He was supposed to be a fucking professional! 
to do guys pat our finger off it's the only thing to do oh we gotta see it fuck oh fuck Ooh, oh, i fuck. mean i'm pretty fuck. sure you didn't have to cut all the way Gosh. down there i'm in pain it's, it's done you fucking psychopath holy shit <laughs> Deserve this. Oh, what's left to do? I left you a present in the back of your truck. Bring it in and set it up, would you? <sighs> what do you want this time? There. It's all ready. Good. Now, here's the fun part. You're going to sit in front of that camera and confess all of the horrible things you've done. I haven't done anything wrong, damn it. Shut up, sit down, confess, or be punished. I'm not hearing any confessing. Fine. Fuck. It's a little weird. We're confessing. Confess your first sin. Uh, let's see. I hadn't visited my mom in years. Before she died, I mean. She kept inviting me up for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but there's always something else. I wonder why she didn't just come and visit me. I mean, why should I have to be the one who has to drive six and a half hours upstate just to see her? I had more important things to do. Things that were actually worth my time. She should have tried harder, not me. Ooh, what kind of person are we playing? I stole money for my charity. Tens of thousands of dollars. The money was supposed to go to those kids, and I just took it from them. And it got burned. But I needed it more. I did. The bank was going to repossess my cars. I, I couldn't let that happen. Acting doesn't pay what it used to. Just kill this man. Kill this man. And yeah, I cheated on her. My wife. Sorry. Ever since our son was born, she's just been horrible. Inside and out. Always needing things and bitching about this or that. So when her sister came on to me, huh, could you blame me? I was just trading him for the younger model. That's all. She'll get over it. She always does. What in the actual butch case? Yeah. Yeah, I happened to be drunk on set that day. So what? Is it my fault that dumbass had to take my place for the stunt? My fault he didn't stand on the right fucking spot and lost his arm? He should have been more careful. Some professional he was. He didn't deserve that payout the company gave him for his troubles either. Hell. If anything, it should have gone to me for making us waste a day of filming. There. Done. Happy now? You're not done yet. Cole, what did you think this was? What? That's it. All of my confessions. There's nothing else to say. Don't lie to me, Cole. I know, I know what happened on that road. Had a few too many drinks, did you? Thought even with all those martinis, I could still drive home. You really thought you'd be fine? You couldn't. 
That's impossible. There was no one else there. It's Confess, Cole. Let me take those weights off your shoulders. I... I killed a man. Dad, keep going. What in the world, man? I was on my way home from a party. I'd been drinking all night. And he just... He came out of nowhere. I stopped and checked on him, but he... He wasn't breathing. So I... I got back in my car and I left. I didn't want to leave him. I swear. I, but I couldn't help him. He was in pieces. Scattered. Across the fucking road. So I went home. And, and the next day, I called my Nana. And I asked if I could stay at her place for a while. And so, you came here to hide from the world. To hide from everything you've done. You're a coward, Cole. Through it through. Shut up. As much as I've enjoyed our time together today, Cole, all good things must come to an end. So this is it? After all this, I'll finally be free? You'll let me go? Of course! Simply finish the last scene, and I'll be out of your hair for good. I promise. Kill me, not the dog. I'm a piece of trash. Alright, let's get this over with. Always with the rush, Cole. Slow down. Smell the roses, eh? Just tell me what it is you want, so I can be done with you and with all of this. Fine! Last scene is a simple, easy one. Burn down your grandmother's cabin. What? Come on, Cole. Don't play dumb. I know you heard me. You're going to burn down your Nana's house. Burn it to the ground and walk away from the life you knew. Why? She doesn't deserve to be homeless. Leave her out of this. Cole, Cole, Cole. You lied. Cheated. Stolen. And even killed your way through life. And you thought it wouldn't come back to fight you? What makes you so special? Dang, you really said. But that was me, not her. Punish me. Nah, you're going to get what's coming to you one way or another. But I don't think that's enough. This bad energy you got going on, it's gotta go somewhere, you know? Burn it down, Cole. Haven't you walked away from enough? This is so crazy. I guess we're burning the house down, guys. I don't know what this, what's going on. I'm saving my dog. It's burning. Sorry, Nana. It's all burning down. What have I done? <laughs> Ace! At least you're okay, buddy. Come on, let's go home. It's time for me to atone for everything I've done. Cole Westford returned to his California home and turned himself to into the police. After a short trial with full confessions from the defendant, Cole was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his crimes. His victims were able to find peace in the knowledge that Joseph justice has been served. Cole himself came to terms with the crimes he had committed and devoted his life to making the world a better place after he was released from prison. Soon after a mysterious film depicting the strange events that took place at Westford family's cabin began circulating in the internet, eventually everyone knew blah blah blah. That was very strange. So I feel like if I said no to everything, I'd just Die. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for trying out our game. The dark creature sort of sent sent by us to do something outside our comfort zone. We're gonna make more attempts like this in between our buffer related releases, so do let us know your thoughts. Was it a good attempt? And is this a series we should continue? Let us know on any of our socials. We would appreciate all the feedback and Chris. Just saw students. 
Interesting. So we didn't see much of this weird blue man. Um, I'm sure we would have if we would have pressed no. Oh, I can pick what night. I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, I guess you want to see what happens if I say no to everything? Let me know. This is a kind of odd game. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, well, let me turn this audio down. It, I'm not going to say it was bad. I don't think it was bad. It was just strange. And the, the blue guy's voice, I guess, I never actually saw him besides his eyes. Since I was saying yes to everything. His voice was strange. It was kind of random, I guess. It was random and out of the blue. But it was, you know, the parts that were supposed to scare me did scare me. So, you know. I don't know. That's that. This game is about... Let me read you the description on Steam. The director, a psycho killer, has chosen you to play the main character in his next film. Will you play your part and survive the night, or will you be his lady's victim? Interesting. Interesting. Let's get it. 